What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and I'm sure many of you guys have heard Apple's announcement. iOS 6 is slated to be released this fall, and in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to install iOS 6.0 early on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4S, iPod Touch 4th Gen, as well as the iPad 2 and 3 without a developer's account. Now, just letting you guys know, not all of the features promised in iOS 6 will be available in this build. As time goes on and more versions are released, you will start to see more of those features, but for now, not everything is available. Also, if you have a 3GS or an iPhone 4, you will not get turn-by-turn -turn navigation. That's only for the 4S, so you basically get a watered-down version, but you still do get the iOS 6 experience. Also, for those of you who are viewing who rely on an unlock, please do not do this. It will remove your unlock permanently, so make sure to refrain from this if you currently are unlocked on T-Mobile or any other network please do not do this. Now let's go ahead and begin. Make sure your device is plugged in and you will need to download two things. One of them is iOS 5.1.1 and the second iOS 6.0. Both things can be found down below in the description. There will be a written guide as well as all of the links you need there. Now, the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up iTunes. You will need the latest version 10.6.3 and we're going to go ahead and hit restore. If you don't have the downloaded firmware, that's what you're going to do. Now, we downloaded our firmware iOS 5.1.1. So we're going to hit option restore on a Mac or shift restore on your keyboard on a Windows computer and select the iOS 5.1.1 firmware. So you will need a fresh restore for this to work. Now, once this is done, I will be right back. All right, my iPhone is now running a clean restore of iOS 5.1.1, and you wanna make sure you activate it. Go through the iOS 5 activation menu, and once that's done, we're gonna go into iTunes, and this time, instead of restoring, we're actually gonna shift-click update on Windows computer, or option and select update on a Mac, and now we're gonna select your iOS 6.0 IPSW. So go ahead and open that up, click update, and this will take about 10 to 15 minutes it will take a bit longer than the iOS 5.1.1 restore but in about 10 to 15 minutes I will be right back now once the restore is complete go ahead and slide to unlock and you guys are now on iOS 6.0 so if I go into settings we can already tell it is different general about there you go you are running iOS 6.0 Feel free to explore, guys, and I do appreciate you guys liking, favoriting this video. Also, leave a comment if you have any questions. There will be a troubleshooting guide down below in the description as well, so check that out. Thanks for watching, guys. Enjoy iOS 6.0. Peace.